what is going on, guys? Crobat for the win here, bringing you a pretty cool battle versus J Miz MB on YouTube. It was a little quite hacksy, but funny and fun. So, all right, I start out with a Caesar. So I'm gonna go for a bullet punch right off the bat, and he starts out with this uh, Yan Mega and surprises me with the Hidden Power Fire, which uh, is kind of bad. These things carry Hidden Power Ground usually, so that was kind of bad. So I'm going to send in Politoed because I'm pretty sure he's going to switch. I don't see why he wouldn't. And I'm going to go for the Toxic because I think that pro I figured he might switch into this, um, what's it called? Star you, I think. Something like that. Star me, whatever. So and then he surprises me with the Thunder Wave and I realize he's running an entire team of custom sets. So I'm like, ugh. I actually have to predict. So he's going to switch out to get rid of the Toxic and he's going to get in go into this Skarmory. I go for the Leech Seed because that'd be the best play for the Skarmory. Unfortunately, it misses the first time, and he gets to set up a layer of Spikes, which is really bad for me, because Spikes are not going to help me win this game. So I'm going to go into Magnezone here, because, you know, Magnezone is a boss. He sets up another layer of Spikes. And this thing is Specs Analytic. It is not Magnet Pull. Look at that name. It says Magnet Pull, but it's not Magnet Pull. It's psychological. People think that it's Magnet Pull, and it's not. <laughs> but, uh, shh, don't tell anyone. Anyways, I'm going to go back out into Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn is a monster, as the nickname suggests. And uh, he's going to go into this Heatran. I know I can take a Lava Plume because of the rain, so I just, yeah, I'll stay in. And I get the Leech Seed up, which is going to heal me up a little bit, and that's kind of nice. Can't complain about that. So I'm going to be sitting at just over green health. So he's going to switch out because he doesn't want the Leech Seed. Now he's going to go into Tyranitar. The switch I didn't quite predict, but I decided to switch out anyways, and I go into Tentacruel. So that, that was kind of unfortunate for me because now I'm going to get the Sandstorm damage rather than the Rain Dish recovery. But either way, I'm going to go for a Rapid Spin because I know this is my only chance to get those spikes away, which are going to just murder my team in the long run. So uh, he's going to get the Paralyze. I'm like... Thunder Wave on a Tyranitar, wow. So I should have predicted something crazy like that. But either way, he goes for Stone Edge and it doesn't do all that much. I set up one layer of Toxic Spikes because it would poison Star me every time it goes in. I know he's not going to stay in forever, so I don't need to set up two layers. Now I'm going to go into Ferrothorn to take that Stone Edge, and he takes it really, really well. He goes back up to green health. So I'm going to switch out now, predicting a superpower, and I'm going to go into p to, uh, Politoed to not only set up the Drizzle, but just to take the superpower and Politoed is going to take that pretty nicely you can't complain after leftovers too yeah he's looking at like three quarters health so either way I, he's going to switch out and go into this uh, this star me and I'm going to go for a focus blast cause I don't want to over predict I probably could have went for something like something else but then again the skull wouldn't have done that much more yeah that's my only other attacking move so he's going to get the rapid spin off, and I knew I couldn't have avoided that. I decided to go for the Scald, just in case maybe he decided to switch. I didn't think he had anything to hurt me, because I don't think he's carrying Thunderbolt. Since I saw him having the Thunder Wave, he probably has Ice Beam and Scald. But just in case, I decided to switch out. Unfortunately, he also carries the Recover, which is, whoa. So he only carries a Water-type move. Now, that's kind of bad for me, but I have a checkmate here, and I can hit something pretty hard with a, um, a, what's it called, a, po a power whip, I think, but unfortunately, I get paralyzed. That's my luck right there, so I was going to be able to two-hit KO that, but now I can't, so anyways, I'm going to go into Tentacruel. He's going to predict that pretty nicely and go for a Stone Edge, which I die after the Sandstorm. That was unfortunate, so gonna send in Politoed so I can set up that drizzle, that rain, it's raining out, you know, like everything. So I'm gonna go into that Magnezone, because I'm predicting him to switch, and I'm predicting a switch into Starmie, and I know I can live one of his attacks, one Surf, in the rain. So, and I make a bad misplay here, like, I thought he was gonna switch and get, I got off the Flash Cannon, but... It does not KO because I, I really thought he'd switch into Tyranitar there, and that really hurt me. So either way, I'm going to have to switch on to Latios to take the Surf. I don't think he has Ice Beam, so that's always nice. And then I miss the Draco, and he gets a Thunder Wave off. That really hurt. I could have KO'd that thing with the Draco, 
Now I have nothing to hit it because my magnet zone's slower and yeah, it would be able to KO me. And now he could just pursuit trap Latios, but with Tyranitar. But at the same time, it is pretty useless now that it's paralyzed. So he has the edge at this point because I have nothing to take out that Starmie. Not with a super effective hit, reliably at least. Now he's going to get a Toxic off on this Politoed. I go for the Focus Blast. I actually predict him to switch into Tyranitar. But I don't think a Scald would have KO'd anyways, even in the rain. Don't think it would have mattered. That's kind of unfortunate for me though. Oh well. So he's going to get the Protect off, and I should have predicted that. This is one of those Toxic Stalling ones. Oh well. So just going to get the leftovers and then I'm going to lose double the toxic damage. So he's going to switch out now and he's going to go into Starmie which I can't hit super effectively at all. Um, well I can with the Magnezone but it dies to a Surf and it's slower. It doesn't really matter. So this is uh, going to end up being game for him because of that Draco miss or uh, uh, I don't remember what the other thing was. Sorry. <laughs> But he is going to get a Surf off now. I send in Ferrothorn because, you know, it's the only thing I have to counter this thing. But at the same time, Ferrothorn... Well, actually, no, it's not game over yet, I guess. I'm going to try to go for the Power Whip and get yet another Paralyze because, you know, that's my luck. He gets... I had to stay in because I had to use it as uh, almost like fodder, but I thought I could live one. I needed the Iron Barb's damage. I get the Power Whip, and then... Somehow, even without attack investment, I'm able to KO Tyranitar, which was awesome. Now that that just that made the game a little bit closer. That was pretty cool. So he's gonna go into Sand Slash, and he wanted to try to set up. So I get to go for the Power Whip, which almost KOs even without attack investment. This Ferrothorn is a monster. Look at that. I mean, really. So he just has one more life or hit to die. So. I'm going to go into Politoed to set up the rain. I know he's going to be able to KO me, but uh, either way, I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to predict the Earthquake, just because I want to be a cool dude. And now I knew he was going to KO this thing. I had no use for it, as it's very useless paralyzed. So I just got to let that thing die. So I'm going to send in Politoed now. So, so he's going to send in this thing, which I'm not even sure if it could have KO'd me. It doesn't, thankfully, which was kind of nice. I get to get the Scald off, and I get to KO, but I'm only of 29 HP, and the Poison's going to kill me off really soon. Next turn, in fact. Now, he's going to go out into this dreaded Starmie, which goes for a Surf, and this thing's just going to be able to... It would be able to sweep the rest of my team, the Magnezone and the Politoed from here, but he decides just to make it closer, just for the fun of it, and... Yeah, he just he he let me use a thunder just to KO something. So really it was a 2-0, but it, you know, he just wanted to be cool about it and make it 1-0. So he's going to KO Magnezone and that was a good game, J Miz NB, I think that was it. Some hacks in it, of course. I lost to hacks. I think I could have at, le at least it would have been a lot easier for me to win had I not missed that Draco because that Starmie would have been out of the way and you could see it posed a problem for me at the end of the game. And um, I'm also very sorry about not posting any battles in a while. I feel bad about it, but school has just been a pain. I mean, really. It is just annoying. So, and, and also the hurricane. You know, the, there was a lot of things involved there, which I'm not going to get into. I'm okay. Don't worry. I'm still here. <laughs> so, uh, I got a day off Monday, so I'll, I might, I'm probably going to be able to post a battle or something. I, I'll probably start finding some if I can this weekend or or Monday. Not quite sure, but just because you know, I'm sorry. Like I said about not posting battles for like two weeks. You know, I, I don't expect to be beaten after dead because of it. But you, know, you got you got to understand that during the school year, you know, I get very busy. Anyways, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and please make sure you subscribe if you like this video. Please, and uh, peace out.